The sensational videos are increasing in number that are telling us that we are in the tribulation already. I want to plead with those of you who are posting these videos or are watching these videos to read the book of Revelation for yourself rather than believing what others are telling you. You will find the judgments found in the tribulation in Revelation chapters 6 through 19. Let's look at some of what God's word says will happen in the tribulation early in it and see for ourselves if these things have already been fulfilled. In Revelation 6, we have global war, worldwide famine, inflation, and I'm not talking about $1.99 a loaf bread jumping to $3.29, but a quart of wheat for a day's wages, martyrdom and pestilences, and wild beasts roaming the earth that will result in the death of one quarter of the earth's population. That would currently be over 2 billion people dead as a result of these judgments. That has not happened. In Revelation 11, we see a physical temple on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem for the first 1,260 days of the tribulation. We know it's the first half because we see the second half described in Revelation 12. We see that there are worshipers there. We see that there are two witnesses that are proclaiming the gospel and calling down judgments and plagues upon the earth as they wish. There is incredible supernatural activity going on that is being seen with the naked eye. The veil between the physical and the spiritual will be gone. Angels will be seen in Revelation 14 proclaiming the gospel, proclaiming to those, warning those who receive the mark of the beast that if they receive it, they can no longer be redeemed, that they will be eternally judged for doing so. I don't know about you, but I haven't seen any angels flying through the heavens lately proclaiming the gospel or warning people to receive a mark that has not yet been implemented. The shot that people have been getting for the last four years is not the mark of the beast. We have to choose people. Are we going to believe the sensational videos with the crazy music in the background with the high suspense themes that are saying that we're in the tribulation and that the vaccine is the mark of the beast or are we going to believe the word of God? The only one who has given us and told us and proclaimed clearly the end from the beginning. The mark of the beast bears the name of the beast, the Antichrist. He will be revealed on day one of the tribulation when he confirms a seven-year peace, false peace covenant with Israel and many nations. Is Israel living in peace right now? No, they're not. No covenant has been confirmed by them, or for them, I should say, by the Antichrist, because he has not yet come into power. And he can't come into power, according to 2 Thessalonians 2, until the restrainer, who is referred to as a he, and there is only one who has the power to restrain evil globally, and that is the Holy Spirit is taken out of the way. Assumedly, at the same time that he removes us from the earth at the rapture of the church. But rapture aside, for those who don't believe that it even exists and that the church is going to go into the tribulation, if we look at the judgments that are found in the book of Revelation, my friends, they have not started. People won't be wondering if they're in the tribulation. Anyone who knows what God's word says will know 
when it has started as it will be literally hell on earth for seven years. We are not in the tribulation. Biden is not the Antichrist. Kamala is not the Antichrist. Trump is not the Antichrist. Per Daniel 9.26, the Antichrist comes from the revived Roman Empire. He is the prince to come that would be of the people that destroyed the city and the sanctuary, referencing the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple in 70 AD by the Romans. We are not in the tribulation. Please don't believe the sensational videos and please saturate your mind with the word of God for yourself so that you know what it says, so that you don't believe these many liars and deceivers, whether it is purposefully or not, I don't know. But they are contradicting the word of God in their teaching, breeding fear among many, telling the world that we are already in God's time of judgment or that people that are not the Antichrist are the Antichrist so that when the Antichrist comes, they won't be looking for him because they're looking in all the wrong places. There's a gentleman on here who's saying, if you see something, say something. And that's great, but you need to say what you see according to God's word. To say that a cow is a horse or that a man who is not the Antichrist is the Antichrist, or that a woman who can't be the Antichrist because the Antichrist is a man, according to Revelation 19, he's referred to as a he there and elsewhere, or that Joe Biden was the Antichrist and now Kamala is going to be the Antichrist and then Trump is going to be the Antichrist because he owns a property at 666 Street or something in New York. People... 666 is the number of a man, not of an address that a man owns. And the Antichrist is one person. He is the same person from the beginning of the tribulation until the end of the tribulation when he and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire. Please read your Bibles. People are lying to you.